Good morning everyone. I'm going to try to do a day in the life video with the twins. Um, it can be difficult at times because I need both hands um, to feed them but um, and to do other things but I'm really going to try to do this for you. It is about 8.45 and they are up ready to eat. Aren't we? Are you ready to eat? They normally get up around 9 or 10, so they're up a little earlier this morning. They didn't sleep very well last night. Um, they typically go to bed around 9 to 10, and then they um, usually sleep till about 3 in the morning. We feed them, and then my husband gets them up at 6 before he goes to work and feeds them, and then they sleep until 9 or 10 in the morning. But this morning, last night they slept in... They went from 9.30 p.m. to midnight. They ate, and then they also ate at 3, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but we'll just make the best of the day as we can. Mom was a little tired because of the extra feedings, but that's okay. So to feed them, I normally just put them in their little um, rock and plays, or I've got some boppies I'll put them in, and it's easier to feed them at the same time. Um because normally if I feed one at a time one will be crying and while the other one's eating and it's just a, a you know an unhappy situation for me and the babies so say good morning this is Carter say good morning say hi <laughs> and then we have little Ryan say hi Ryan no <laughs> say hi so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get them fed and then um, we'll just fill you in on what we do during the day okay it is about 9 15 um, the kids just got done eating as you can tell Ryan is kind of already sleepy again so I'm trying to get them started on a sleep um, schedule and so today's kind of the first day I'm gonna attempt it um, we've got Carter who seems to be wide awake but Ryan is asleep so I'm going to try to put Carter down with Ryan I don't know if that's gonna work or not um, they normally sleep in the living room in either their rock and plays that they're in now or I've got a swing that they um, one of them will swing in so I'm not sure, you know, again, this is my first time. I'm not sure if it's better to try to get Ryan awake for a little bit or to put Carter down. Um, he usually gets sleepy in about 30 minutes. So um, hopefully he'll just fall asleep when I put him. I'm going to put him in the bedroom where they sleep at night and um, see if that works for him. But I will definitely um, change their little diapers and put their clothes on for the day and then put them back down for a little bit. This is what I look like in the morning. Um, I typically just have enough time, like literally two minutes, to uh, put my hair up in a bun or something and then I've got to bring them in here to eat right away or I have some screaming babies. And then Juno always wants attention. Um, so yeah so that this is what i look like in the morning and um i do try to get some things done during the day so i'll definitely um video some of that but i'm going to go ahead and get their diaper changed and get them ready uh for the day and if if carter starts falling asleep a little bit that'd be great if not i might just have to wake ryan up and play with her for a little bit um, until Carter's ready to go to sleep that might be the best thing I don't know if you have a sleep pattern you put your kids on and um, as far as naps go bedtime it's kind of a routine that we put them to bed between 9 and 10 um, we feed them their bottles get them dressed whatnot every other day I'll give them a bath I don't bathe them every single day unless they absolutely need it um, but every other day is usually typically what I do but if you have any suggestions as far as getting them into the sleep routine, um, please let me know. Because as of right now, typically what happens is throughout the day, one will be awake, the other will be asleep. And then once the other goes, 
once the one goes to sleep finally the other one wakes up so I don't really have a lot of time to do anything um, you know like cleaning house and whatnot when one's awake and one's asleep so yeah what are you talking about okay so after I changed them and put them in their daily clothes um, Ryan woke up so we're playing just a little bit here and um, I'm sure they'll be sleepy again here shortly I also have um, they usually watch like a little bit of something normally like the Disney Channel to Disney Junior with like Princess Sophia and stuff um, I let them just watch very little amount of it um, while they're going to sleep and um but i've heard that baby einstein's a little bit better so i actually found it on youtube so i just put it on the tv i'll probably end up getting the um dvds just because um i'd like to have it for like long car rides because we're going to the beach in about a week so and it's a six hour drive so that'd be good to have for them um you know, you don't want to overstimulate their brains too much with, you know, a lot of TV. So they only get a minimum amount. Um, so yeah, so it sounds like little Carter might be getting a little fussy. So we'll be going down for a nap soon and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I got the babies to sleep. They actually went right down. Um... Here they are on the little monitor. I put them in our bedroom because it's a little darker in there. And then this is where they sleep at night. So I figured it would be a little bit more comforting. And then also I put a little bit of a, um, I put a blanket around them. Kind of like a, a, a loose swaddle for them. Um, just to give them some comfort as well. So while they're doing that, it is... 10 o'clock a little after 10 o'clock I my house is a, a wreck we went on a little mini vacation this past weekend and so my house has not been this way in like forever so I'm kind of embarrassed to even show you but I have got a lot of cleaning to do so I'm hoping they'll sleep at least for maybe a good hour and then I also need to eat some breakfast myself because I I haven't eaten yet but Here's my lovely, crazy house. It's a mess. Some doggies there sleeping. I just have everything everywhere right now. Um, so I, I definitely need to, definitely need to clean up here some, put some laundry in, I guess, and you know, clean up our little stations that we have for the babies. Um, it's usually pretty organized, but like I said, we've been gone, so um, when we came back, I wasn't feeling very well. Ryan was sick last week. Um, she still got a little something because whenever she eats, it just automatically comes right out. Um, and so today I'm kind of feeling a little bit better. So I'm going to try my best to clean up here and then get everything situated. So I will let you know how long they sleep. Hopefully it's for at least an hour, maybe more. Um, and then their next feeding is probably going to be around, let's see, around probably um, 12 o'clock. Yeah, usually about 12 o'clock. They usually, they usually eat every two and a half to three hours. So. so that first nap session wasn't too bad. They went down around 10, 15-ish, I believe. And um, they slept till 10:45, and then ryan and carter they decided to start moving around a lot and they started carter started crying um he's really bad at like frailing his arms around when he's really sleepy he kind of fights sleep a lot and so um at that time right now they sleep in their little bassinets and i do let them sleep in the rock and plays if they you know sometimes it's a little bit more comfortable for them so I went ahead and put the rock and plays in the bedroom and I swaddled him and put him in it and he went right back to sleep and Ryan is actually still sleeping she's in her rock and play as well swaddled up and I 
he just woke up carter just woke up at 12 15 so that was that was amazing um i got a lot done i got my living room straightened up got some clothes folded was able to sweep up and vacuum there's little carter he just ate so i'm getting ready to go wake his sister up to feed her um i got to do my dishes i got to clean off the counters i'm still working on this section right here but other than that it looks good and i'm i feel so accomplished um definitely been a very productive day and i'll have to continue this nap schedule routine um so yeah i gotta go wake up ryan i normally i will feed them together if they're awake together but since she's still sleeping i'm gonna um go wake her up to feed her i like to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them if if i can um and so since she was sleeping i went ahead and played with him a little bit and got him settled in his little swing and so i can go get her feed her and he will most likely be less fussy um since he did kind of get his one-on-one -on -one time Pretty girl, you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Miss mm -hmm. Ryan is trying to eat, and of course her little brother, well, excuse me, big brother is over there being a fussy butt. But that's what I deal with on a daily. If it's not one, it's the other. But he's at least not fussing as much as he was before. Sometimes he gets so hysterically crying that he just can't catch his breath. Right now he's just kind of fussy. But she's almost done, so he'll get some more attention here shortly. It's so nice out. It's not too warm. It's a little breezy, but decided that we're going to go for a walk, aren't we? Are we gonna go for a walk? <gasps> yeah. She don't want the blanket on her. I normally just put it on there just in case, um, you know, this, the sun gets on them. So, but I'll leave it off of them until I know for sure that's what happens. But yeah, I love my little um, Bob stroller. I say little, it's actually pretty, pretty big. It's not, I mean, it's not too big, but if it's through, most doors um my husband calls it the cadillac version of a stroller so i love it it's easy to push around especially in our neighborhood we have a lot of hills and whatnot so the other stroller is just a little bit more difficult especially because it's got that plastic wheels on it so um yeah it's i, lo I love this stroller it is is it's pretty expensive but um, we figured it'll last us, you know, let's see. I think it says it lasts, it can hold up to 100 pounds total as far as baby weight goes. So, you know, that'll last us several years at least. So we'll get our money's worth out of it for sure. But we're going to go for a walk and then come back, hang out, play a little bit more, and then maybe go back down for another nap. In Virginia, when you go for a walk, you get to see some baby deer. Hopefully you can see those. Do you see them, Carter? <laughs> we have a lot of deer in our neighborhood. Those are actually babies, I believe. They look like they have spots on them still. And no um, antlers yet, so makes me wonder where the mom is but where'd they go there they are but yeah then um i love our neighborhood sorry i zoomed in guys ah uh, we have deer all around they come in our backyard as well um and this is kind of a neighborhood but it's out in the outskirts of the city so we do have a lot of deer a lot of different things like raccoons and skunks and you name it we've got it but it's good to see these on our walks 
So our walk went really well. Um, I am sweating, but um, it's, you know, I need to start moving around, um, walking more. I've gained a little bit of weight back, maybe like four or five pounds, but I haven't been eating the healthiest, which is really hard to eat healthy with the twins because, you know, it seems like I don't have enough time to really fix a good healthy meal, but I, I really need to definitely work on that. I have been trying to drink more water this week. Um, I've kind of been slacking on that department as well and I've been drinking more sodas than anything, which isn't good. Um, but uh, yeah, the walk went really well. We seen a couple deer and um, we stopped at our uncle's house. He lives right down the street from us actually. Um, if you walk from our house to his house, I believe it's a half mile. So if you know, when you make it back here, it's a mile, might be a little bit over a mile. But um, it's nice because he's retired, so we just stopped and visited and let him see the babies, and they enjoyed that. They did fall asleep on the walk back, so I have woken them up, and um, because it is about 2.30 right now, and so they will probably be eating again around 3, um, and I want to try to get them in for another nap right after they eat. So hopefully they'll sleep for like a couple more hours, then we'll get up and their daddy will be here. We'll play for a little bit. We have my best friend coming um, and she's gonna come see the babies cause she is like a sister to me and her name is Sarah. So we're excited to see her. And so, yeah, so we're just, while they're sleeping, I gotta do a few other things. We've got so much to do today. Um, not enough time in a day. Uh, I've gotta send off some emails, pay some bills from the hospital for them. Um, and then also I need to do some work for my husband with his DJ and business. I'm kind of like the secretary, so I have to write the paychecks and um, email some clients and whatnot, which it normally takes me about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get all that done while they're sleeping again. Um, so yeah, we're just going to sit here and play for a little bit. Ryan's definitely oh, really sleepy. Um, Carter's more wide awake, but once they're done eating and everything, they'll be ready to go down. So, I'm kind of excited about this new little schedule that we've got going on. Um, so far as of today, it's working really well. Yesterday was very, yesterday was very frustrating for me. Um, they just were, was crying all day long. I was very irritable, and, um, so that's when I kind of decided we had to come up with a schedule of some sort. Um, so that, you know... I know when I have time to do things and that I do have time to do things um, because when they're when one's up and the other one's sleeping and vice versa it's I don't get anything done because the one wants attention so um, this way I can give them both attention at the same time they can go down at the same time etc so well, let me go ahead and give them some attention and get them fed and then um, hopefully back down for another nap Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I put them down at 3 o'clock for their nap and they lasted till 4.30. Um, Carter's not a happy camper right now so I'll probably try to give him a little bit of food formula and um, cause I've changed him and everything and everything else is fine. He's just you know, a little grouch right now when he wakes up. So that nap time did really well. I got a lot more stuff done. I got some paperwork done for the DJ. Um, business and whatnot so that was that was good so now I'm just gonna sit here and give the kids a little bit more attention this little boy seemed to be hungry so I am going to go ahead and feed him um, that being said because I'm feeding him now I will have to feed her um, I like to keep them on the same schedule um, otherwise it's just a terrible terrible ordeal like if I feed him now she's gonna be hungry you know within probably an hour and um, then if I wait I feed her in an hour he's gonna be hungry you know an hour or so after that so it's like you're feeding them every feeding one or the other every hour and a half maybe a couple hours so um, it's just best to keep them on schedule so she probably won't drink much but she'll drink enough to hold her over she's really good I love Ryan is the very, um, she's very Miss Independent, so to speak. She 
really only cries when she needs something and when i say need something i mean something more than attention like even when she was sick running a fever she really didn't cry much or fuss much um she sleeps very well um carter on the other hand he's a little bit more fussy he likes to have more attention um he is a cuddle bug so i do i do love that as where well, ryan's not really too much of a cuddler she will cuddle but she prefers to kind of have her space um but yeah so we'll just keep them on the same schedule and so it looked like let me think they ate around three two thirty three o'clock so it would have been five thirty would have been their next feeding so they're an hour ahead of schedule so now their feedings will probably be seven thirty and then I'll probably do the 9.30 and then they will go to bed at 10. So, um, yeah, everything just gets off schedule sometimes. But so far, today has been really good, very productive. I'm happy with today. Um, this is probably the first meltdown, so that's a good thing, too. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell me about it. Yeah. You <laughs> silly. You silly boy. You silly boy. Yeah. You got a lot to say, don't you? Don't you? You got a lot to say, don't you? Oh. What's looking at? You can tickle your feet. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I gotta feed your sister now. Are you gonna behave while I feed your sister? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Carter is really, um, he's really enjoying this baby Einstein. Again, I had to get it off of, uh, YouTube, and the quality's not the greatest at all. But, um, like I said, it's, they don't watch it very often. Like, maybe ten minutes here and there. Um, and it's got a lot of pictures, a lot of colors. You know, it's not as crazy as the Disney Channel stuff. So, um, so yeah, I've got a, a neighbor who's got the DVDs, actually. And she's going to let me borrow them and see if he likes them. And if so, then we'll get some of our own. Um, but, you know, for today, I'm glad I got to try it out. And um, I really do like it. It's kind of just simple and, um, you know more their speed as where the Disney is a little bit more for toddlers, I think. So, just finishing up feeding Ryan here. She's probably not going to eat too much. She was actually falling back asleep, but I'm going to try to keep her awake as long as possible. Um, she'll probably end up going to bed around 9.30 or 10 tonight, so. As you can see, Ryan fell asleep while she was eating. She honestly didn't eat, but maybe half an ounce. Um, so I think I'm going to let her sleep, and you can hear Carter, he's in his little rock and play over there. He is, um, being a little fussy butt, so I'm going to play with him for a little bit, and, um, hopefully calm him down. And as far as the feeding schedule, we're just kind of off schedule, and I guess I'll just have to work with what I've got. Um, hopefully, what are you doing, Sunshine? What are you doing, Sunshine? Hopefully Ryan, um, she won't be hungry for a couple more hours and then I can kind of get him back on the same schedule, but what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? She's so content. I love this precious girl. What are you going to do? 
You taking a nap again? Yeah. Okay, we'll put you back to sleep. Hello there again. So yeah, this just happened. We have a sleepy little girl. And a little boy who's kind of halfway in, halfway out. Let me back up so it focuses a little more. Anyway, so Ryan didn't need anything. Um, you know, she only ate maybe half an ounce, I think it was, of formula. And Carter, he ate right much. Um, and I guess they, I guess he was fussy because, well, I did have to change their diapers. They did have a couple bowel movements, which were just kind of explosive. So it's a lot of mess to clean up there. So I think they both feel pretty much a lot better. Um, but yeah, so they're asleep again. It is six o'clock. Um, their dad should be home in probably about 30 minutes or so. Um, we're going to get some takeout for dinner. And then my best friend, like I said, is coming over. So I will keep you updated as far as, you know, what goes on from here. Um, again, this is my first day trying this whole napping thing. And um, so I, it's kind of odd that they're sleeping again. But then again, they're babies. So I think they, the website I read said that they should sleep. They'll probably do an average of three or four naps. So even though I think that they should stay up until, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock, they probably do need a nap. Um, so yeah, again, if anyone else knows anything about the sleeping schedules and stuff, of you know, what baby should be on, um, feel free to let me know. I'm just kind of Googling stuff and going off of that. I don't really know a lot about it. Um, so yeah. So while they're sleeping, I'm just going to continue doing some things around the house. I've got some noobs papers I need to go through and get some coupons for because I really need to go grocery shopping. Um, I've been catching up on some YouTube videos, which is pretty awesome. And I think that that's about it. Um, when they are sleeping, I don't have anything really on TV. Um, just right now I've got music on TV. So, um, but because if I have anything on TV, Carter will try to watch it. He will, he'll, he'll do this number and look over his little swing and stuff. And so I just, I turn it off. Um, especially if he is in the swing, I'll turn the whatever's on TV off because I don't, I don't want him trying to watch it. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, will keep you updated. Okay, so change of plans. Oh, it's bright out here. Um, since the kiddos are sleeping, I decided that, um, I'm going to come outside and play with the dogs for a little bit. I've kind of neglected them a little um, due to the babies being here and everything. So, and their dad usually plays fetch with them. And so, I'm going to go out here and play with them a little bit. All right. You ready, Zoe? Come here, Keiko. Come here, Keiko. <laughs> <laughs> 